for cats. So I have three cats, right? And the only thing I can think of, and I don't know if, any, if you'll be with me, smell. The smell. I mean, cats don't tend to smell, but... I feel duty bound. 480 in a house. I feel duty bound to say, if you've got more than 480 cats in your yes. house this morning, <laughs> send us a picture. <laughs> we might not believe you, but yeah. We've laid down the gauntlet a few times here. I'm fairly confident. That's yeah, not going to happen. Um, am I right in thinking you don't play chess? I don't know. Do you like chess? No. Nope. Would you like to learn to play chess? I would find it very challenging. Let me put it that way. I would find it very That's challenging. That's not a problem. You don't mind challenges, do you? I have nothing against the sport or those who play it. I just well, haven't really done funny that. Funny enough, you know, there are so many things that people are catching up on streaming and on television, you know, catching up on series. And there's this one called um, The Queen's Gambit. Funny enough, I've just started, started to watch it and I, I'm really enjoying it. But it's really caught the imagination of quite a few people um, when it comes to chess. Accessory. Well, you could get... You can timer, get roll you timer. Yeah, you've got the clock thing, haven't mm -hmm. you? But that's when, you, when you're really serious. But you could have, like, marking pads, I suppose. But you could also have... Um, you can roll up, roll up chess sets rather than just in a box, you know, um, in different ways. On another thought, uh, we all know the cars are getting bigger and bigger, mostly getting bigger and bigger. And you know that parking thing? You go into a, a car small. park and you, you find a space... But here we are, with a handy piece of uh, yellow A4. Either side of your car, you end up with this amount of space to get out for the door to open which is how and how for big? you to get out how big that's is that? 21 centimeters either side of the car for the average space with a big car like that so are you, you can that you can't get out of that can you can't no. get out um do you know i'm not an angry road ragey person but one of the things that infuriates me i'm not lying at all so our director who said that i was um uh, is when people don't park within the lines and sensibly, or when they park just on the edge of one line. So it wrecks the space. But with that little person. space, it doesn't make much difference anyway. Well, at least you have 21 centimetres. You could, you know, manipulate it. But stay calm out there, whatever the circumstances. Stay calm. That's my message. Ah! 17, 17 minutes past six. Now, despite beginning his spending review with pretty dire economic forecasts, the Chancellor did promise billions of pounds to help level up, that's the quote, the economy when he addressed the Commons yesterday. Let's go to Nina, who's at a printing firm. Hello, you're watching Breakfast with Nagaman Chetty and Charlie Stake. Good morning to you. Time now, 6.31. Now, on Breakfast this morning, one of the greatest... Sir Ed Davey, who is leader of the Liberal Democrats. 18 minutes to 7 is the time. Good morning to you. Carol is going to bring us all the weather, a detailed forecast. Now, it's really crisp and cold outside, but I like it because I think there's a bit of sunshine too today. Carol, thank you. Thank you, Carol. Pleasure. Time now is 6.45 exactly. Now, one in three children who have some form of scarring say they feel sad, depressed or anxious because of having a physical difference. Now, this is according to the charity Changing Faces and scientists at the University of Bristol are launching the first research project of its kind using a particular kind of fish to find a way for people to heal without leaving a scar. Breakfast John McGuire has been to meet Delilah, who was severely burned as a baby. Sorry, I got you there. No, no, no. I was just thinking, I, there are very few characters, aren't, aren't there? But, you know, particularly for England football supporters yeah. who remember 1986, so called oh. Hand of God. But even then, as much as there was so much vitriol levied against yeah. him, you know, and, and what he did, Still so much respect for but him. But in, in a way, a that match... You were watching that football game in 86 with the hand of God, supporting I England. Guess. No? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Scottish. I've really got the whole, the whole game, but I certainly heard about it in song. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. So it, 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 it's the point that everyone can talk about Maradona. Everyone has a story about him and respected, Mike, just how brilliant he was. Yeah. Good morning. It's Thursday, the 26th of November. Our top story this morning, people living in England will learn what restrictions they face when the lockdown ends next week as the Health Secretary makes an announcement later this morning. Most of the country is expected to be placed in the two toughest tiers of measures, with London going into tier two. What do we know about the tiers that are being introduced today? Well, across the country... Again, Charlie. Look forward to it, Carol. Thanks very much. Thanks. Let's see, time now is 11 minutes past eight. So, although the lockdown in England ends next week, of course, in some parts of the country, pubs may not reopen and some businesses could stay shut. That is because areas are going to be placed under different tiers of restrictions, which the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, will outline today. Yes, Graham Satchel has been hearing from people in Liverpool and in Kent about their hopes and fears ahead of the announcement. 
thanks very much, Nina, out there for us in Bootle. Lots of uncertainties at the moment, but I can tell you a few things that are absolutely true. It is 8.46. It's Thursday morning. Carol has the weather. There's three, and Carol's always right with the weather. Everything she always says is oh, always yeah. correct. There's four things, actually four. That's my list of four things that I we think, know. How about I that, Carol? That says more about